Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Officially made it to Iowa. We're crossing the Mississippi River and we're moving to the 2000 series, which means actually something different is that we're going from year 2000 to 20, 20 up to 2014. So any equipment older than 2014, we can use. It's kind of weird, but basically what we're doing is no equipment with death is what we're trying to use. So not brand new stuff, but mainly older stuff. Up. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been a minute since I've picked up the camera, but there's a lot of interesting things that's happened since the last time I picked up the camera. So the last time y'all seen me, I was working with my Uncle Grant over in Ashton Corners, I think was Ashton Corners was the county we were from, and they finally paid me for all the work I did, and on top of that, I also got a loan from one of my friends, and so I did something that... I shouldn't have done. I bought my own farm. Of course, I'm still going to be working with my Uncle Grant. I'm going to be doing everything with him still. But this is going to be like my own little project to do by myself. And so this right here, I had all this built before I bought the second place. This right here is going to be our cold storage area. We did start with some machinery. We started with, of course, a lot of Case H. The guy who owned this only owned Case H. He got rid of most of it before I was able to contact him. And so what was left of his operation, I bought. He had this header, this combine, which I love this combine. It's the 2588 Case H combine. We have the Case H header. And then we have the Case H 8950. Beautiful tractor, tricked out, has some different sensors on it. Like, that's top of the line. Uh, and we also got this. This right here is my crowning jewel. The TLX 9000. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so ready to continue doing this. And then, of course, out here, we have a bunch of fields. He left some crops in there, something like that. And then this right there is empty. And we also bought this. A Ford F F550 beautiful truck love this truck so much and it is so good to be able to have my own stuff and to kind of work out of my own means i'm still going to be working with grant of course like uncle grant and uh, uncle buck from time to time actually uncle buck's going to be supplying me with stuff for this down the road so we also own this field right here and this big field right there the beautiful fields i wanted them so badly so i purchased them um also got that field right there but this up here is the house we live at. That We have a spare truck in there. And that one right there is just for taking out. We'll actually take that one over to the dealership with us. Because uh, we got to go see Uncle Buck at the dealership. He has a job. This is our main farm. Um, when we pulled up, I kind of took what we had. I had this shipped here from the... I had this shipped over here from the Case Ice dealership. I loved it so much. They had it for sale. It was cheap, 10 grand. And then we have a cattle operation back there in the back, and you'll know more about that in the future. But I'm not really going to go on too much more. So let's go ahead and go visit Uncle Buck. We got to buy some machinery. We got to go ahead and start getting cultivation done. We have a lot to do today. And going forward, I mean, there's some stuff we have to go ahead and start getting done. Right, and now we're going to head over here to see Uncle Buck. Hopefully get us a wheel and deal a little bit. See what he's got over here looking good. Oh, looking, looking good. Let's see if we can weasel out of him today. Uncle Buck! What do you want, Nate? You know what I want. I told you I was coming by to buy some equipment today. Yeah, you didn't tell me what you're going to buy, and I know you do not have much money. I mean, Mama gave me a good loan. Mama? Yeah. I know your sister ain't rich either, buddy. She gave me 500 k We got money to spend today. But I guess it also depends on how big you want to go for, in essence, spreading out your workload. 
I mean, you could go something like our 46, 50, or 4560 here. That'd be a really good, just kind of a starter tractor. It's got the beans of a regular tractor, but you're going to save a lot of money just because it's cheaper old iron. A lot easier to fix. Uh, we don't offer, like, a warranty more or less on this for extended stuff since it is a, it's, it's old, older. We do offer a base warranty on all equipment, so you can get a little bit of coverage. But if you were to get something like the 8430 here, which is a 16-speed power shift, this one's covered from top to bottom. Okay, how much is this we looking at for this one? This one's going to run you about $200,000, give or take, um, after the deductibles and all that. It's like just the discounts for company stuff, because this is basically a brand new tractor. Yeah. How much uh, horsepower? That tractor right there has 336 horsepower. Okay, so that that would be easily able to pull everything. Yeah, it's it it'd be a one and done style of tractor, but with the price tag of as like I said, it'd be to about two hundred thousand just for the sake of after everything and once we get the paperwork done, you get your your uh, discounts that are taken off for the new purchase of a new v, a new implement and all that stuff. So that but that's half your budget if you buy it outright. Uh, probably the newest, but like. Newest but cheapest old iron we got is the 8410. That would probably be your absolute best choice since that one, I believe, does push over the 200, 200 horsepower range, uh, to my knowledge. Yeah, that is... Uh, actually, no, it's pushing under. It's 270. So it's a little bit less on the horsepower, but it's a lot cheaper at almost 160,000, I think, is what we have this at, because this is used. We have a one-year, 400-hour warranty for a standard on all equipment. Then we have a three-year, 1,200-hour uh, warranty. Uh, that's mainly for bigger guys that are either newer. It's either like for newer equipment or those big farmers up in, like, Montana where they're running 18-hour days, seven days a week. So they usually do that for newer equipments, but that's what this one has since it does have quite a bit of newer stuff. I mean, it doesn't even it does also have Starfire on it, so you do have GPS with it. But the uh, and then the last one obviously is like just head to toe, brand brand new. It's like five years, two thousand hours, and you you break a tire, you do that. The borderline, you mess it up yourself. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So it's. This is a good deal because you can at least get a couple services in unless you wanted to do them yourself. But it's also going to be just enough where you can still work on things without having to bring it to us because software is still not as potent as, say, on something like the 84. And you said that's uh, 160 compared to 200 Well, list price on that thing's 230 But once we can work everything back down, it's going to be somewhere around that 200 to 205 range. Okay, let me, let me talk about that for a second. What what we got for like a medium tractor to do like around the yards work? Uh, really, you got like your seventy eight ten right here. That'd probably be about your best option. This one does not have a loader on it, but we do have a loader bracket on there for I believe it's a Allo or a Quickie. I can't. I think it's a Quickie bracket. Yes, the forty four forty, a classic diesel, old old school seventies deer. It's a brute. It does have an extra uh, storage of fuel tank, which obviously duels as a weight in the front. Two-wheel assist. You got yourself some bigger Michelins in the back. It's not like really a row crop. It's more of a floater style of tire. Uh -huh. I believe this one we only have at like 30000 or something. 30000 40000 I don't know. Well, this uh, fuel worth. cell right here, is this able to be taken off uh, if I didn't want to? Yes, it? you can take the fuel cell off the front. You can also take off the front weight bracket and put a rock box or anything else on it. Uh, does have, I believe, four rib tires on it. You could swap it for three. You could swap it for five. You can really do anything you really want with one of these things. These things are bulletproofed anyway. Does this one come with a dual with the uh, spare duels and everything like that? If I want to put them on later. Uh, not to my knowledge, because this was a this was brought in as a trade in. All right, and then what's this one right here bringing? The forty six price. I'd have to go and check my my sheets. Probably somewhere about. Mm, 40, 48,000 in that ballpark. Okay, okay. How many horsepower does that have? That's 155 horsepower. Okay. 
That actually might be better than getting that one down there on the end of the row. What kind of warranty does this come with? Uh, this one is a standard. This one's just a one year, five hundred hours. Okay. It covers you on a couple. It covers you for, I believe, like some oil changes, and just basic service. We'll cover you that just for like a just package deal on there. But really, if it comes down, like you got something major comes and breaks on there, we don't cover that. Ninety six ten, I believe. Here, this is the older of the two, the cheaper of the two, maybe. I think. Yes, because the ninety five is gonna have just a hair bit more. You might uh, pop in and on turn it. on. Uh, I believe you should be able to pop in. Key should be on in it. All right. Okay. All right. What kind of header can we put on her? I would probably say you could get a thirty foot. 30 footer on that, give or take the auger's length thing. You might be pushing it with a 30 foot, but it should be able to run a 30 foot auger, uh, auger driven header just fine, as well as a 12 row. As this is the biggest of the series that is on there, this is about a hundred and ten thousand dollar combine at factory when it was brand new. We have it listed for 95. So then the other option we got is obviously the 9560 STS. The, uh, this is a lot newer of a combine. The, it's actually a little bit smaller of one, too, so you're not going to be able to put as big of a header on. Uh, I believe the pipes are about the same length, so if you wanted to try and run those, you could. But I wouldn't run anything more than a 30. Oh, well, you probably run a 30-foot header on this. I, I, I haven't gotten the, looking at the fact sheets yet enough to know, but it's a lot more comfortable of a cab than the other one, I'll tell you that much. Uh, this one right here looks like it has an extended pipe on it compared to this one, so. Yeah, I, I'm really, I'm really not a combine person, I'll tell you that. I'm more of a tractor guy than I am a combine. I do know, however, this one does have uh, a lot less hours on it. It's got only roughly 200, it's got about 180 hours on it for the engine and only about 80 for the thresher, so. A lot less hours, so it is still technically used. But it is a bit more pricey. I was about to say, that bit more pricey is what's getting me right now. Is that, that bit more pricey or something like that. And when you can get this one right here, probably put a bigger header on it. We'll think about this one right here. I'll probably trade in my case H for this. So you're looking at about 150 for this thing. All right. Yeah, I know. No, no. All right. What we got for planters? Planters in the back. We have that thingy, Bob. I have no idea what that thing is. It's like a folding 12 row. It looks like it's a mixture between a plow and a planter. I know what this is. This is one of those KMCs. What they do is they pre-plow the ground, and you plant the corn or the cotton, whatever you're planting in behind it. Does all your job at one time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have a 1775 24 row. Uh, deer. This is a one of this is a brand brand new cedar. Like this is right off, right off the factory floor. We just got that, but this one's actually sold, so we can't actually be selling that one. Thank God. We do have a DB sixty. <laughs> this one is actually listed for sale. We do have this. It's not. A, it doesn't have any of the fancy smart boxes. It doesn't have any of the GPS. It's it's a bare bone basic uh, DB sixty, and we have that currently right now listed at three hundred thousand dollars because these things are. A uh, pretty hot commodity, so this is a very, not going to be great. What you're going to want right there is the Kinsey 3600. That's a direct. You, you, know, you dump the seeds in the box. You spin the thing around. You drop the planter. You set the level. You make sure everything's working. It's got row cleaners. So How much it is nice. it? You go. That Kinsey right there is worth 88000 But we actually have it listed at seventy. All right. All right. What about this uh, over five. here? What about these rippers over here? What about this ripper? That one, I have... That one's at 32. 32? That one's a lot cheaper. Alright, we'll look at that. Alright, what well, we got for uh, disc, or thought that. I mean, not disc. Cultivation. Uh, well, you're not going to want to get... You might be able to go with the Sunflower. That's probably... It's the motor... It's, I think it's the most expensive one we have that's the cheapest. Because anything, obviously the case one over there, that one's going to be way out of your power range. The Sunflower here, this one is listed at 
78,000. So okay. it's pretty much almost brand new out of the box, but guy traded it up for a 2410 uh, 24-10 five section. We do actually have a Good Great boy, Plains. Boy. This one is a lot bigger. Uh, it's actually the Great Plains is set at about 95,000. It requires 300 horsepower, so you wouldn't be able to do anything with that unless you had the 83 and that up there, the bigger tractors. But what you're probably going to want to look at is either the 630 disc at 30,000 or the 2630, which requires 300 horsepower as well, but it's it's not going to be as abrasive as, say, the, uh, the Great Plains. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, the Sunflower requires 300 anyway, so... Yeah. Okay. All right. That kind of just leaves it up to you. I say for practicality, obviously the 630 is going to be your best choice for price tag. Cheapest. But around here, if you kind of want to get stuff done, you kind of need big equipment. So, exactly. so you got 500,000 500, to work with, and I'm rattling off stuff that's going to... Obviously, you're going to have trade, so trade value's got to come into play. All right, because I know I'm not trading in my corn header, but I'm trading in my uh, actual header, and then I'm trading in the combine itself, and then the Case IH Magnum, or we'll look at the Magnum, or I may keep it, depending on it. It might not be a bad idea, because isn't that Magnum... How much, how, how much power does that Magnum got? Well, let me look at my phone here for a second. Uh, According to my phone, it's 261. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think that would easily run the planter. What are you all looking at in terms of your shopping cart? All right, so shopping I'll... cart currently is looking at, and this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Sunflower. It'd be something cheap. It would be easier to deal with. Currently, I'm thinking we do the Sunflower for right now, and then we do the Kenzie. Yep. So that puts me right there at 160, correct? Yes, 160. So that's at 160 right there. The combine, the header I have is not a John Deere combine uh, header, but it's not a case. Well, we, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a few headers coming in here within at least the next couple days, if not a, a week or so. We'll have another tr a shipment coming in of used stuff and new stuff, so we'll have something for this at that time. So I'm gonna trade. I'm definitely gonna trade in my case IH in for this because this right yep. here is more less hours than what's on my case. And then mm -hmm. also I could get a better header for this than my case IH is what I'm thinking. So this right here All is right. definitely on there, and then we'll figure out the trade pricing or thought not. And then right now it's a toss up between the eighty four and then the well the both 40s. 80, the eighty fours. And then the third you got a the th I think you might be better off because are you gonna try to have like one tractor do all? No, I'm buying a second tractor. There, there's two tractors on my list. Oh, so the forty, the forty-five, and then it's between the eighty-fours. Yeah. At that rate, uh, give or take. I'm thinking the eighty-four thirty because it has at least three hundred horsepower. Yeah, that might be your best option, and it's it's looking like I said we only about two hundred thousand. So, if you're willing to put that in your budget and you want to try and pull this thing out, we do actually have a set of front duels for that if you want to run those. Okay. And that one is covered from top to bottom, like literally heel to toe. The 84, the 45, the 96, Sunflower, Kinsey, and what about that folding planter? The one with the plow blade in the front, 32,000. The K&M, KMT, whatever that it is. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pick it up. I'll pick that up yeah. for long term. Total before tax, also before trades. And then we will incorporate uh, possibly discounts and sales. But other than that, that's pretty much all I got for you right now. So uh, that definitely will work for me. All righty. We're pulling away. Uncle Butt just gave us our total. We might be able to do it. Um, and maybe not even have to sell any of our equipment. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, there's no better time than right now. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I appreciate everybody for coming and watching this video. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video. See you later. Peace!